on to Summoner's Rift for the first time in this best of five, though. You had the Gigabyte Marines playing the past week. TSM has had time for lots of preparation as Finscaren gets into enemy territory with Haunter and Bjergsen right next to him. Very early, trying to steal away one of those camps, but don't exactly get away with it. Now they're going to be turning the aggro right back on to him. Finscaren trying to flash away, but first blood over to Gigabyte Marines. TSM go too far forward. 70 seconds or so before they come back up. Levi taking the blast cone over no the wall. Flash. He can find the chance to go on to Haunter here, who has no way out of this one. Start getting in a couple more auto attacks, and Levi cuts him down. Now, better mind down in the bottom lane. Oh! oh! Slay grabbing a kill onto Wild Turtle before we even see what's going on. This takes him out of the picture. Both summoner spells also going to be expended by the TSM 80 carry as Levi grabs a killing spree up here in the 2v2. Optimus going to be in some danger. Bjergsen's able to pick him up. Levi failing before he can do anything else. There's not really any opportunity to clean that one up at all. But action across the map. Giga White Marines, they're just coming out the gate swinging. They're able to get themselves a 2v2 kill down bot. Now, let's see exactly how it happens. Wall Tuttle, oh man, that is, that oh. is very aggressive. That is not how you want to be positioning against Leonardi. Severe disrespect to the bottom lane of the Gigabyte Marines. And now we see both Optimus and Levi just getting a pick onto Sven and They set up the ward over the wall, knowing that the blue buff had just spawned. They felt that TSM would make that map movement. I think the real target was Bjergsen. Going into this game, we were talking about Sven Skaren, talking about him being an inconsistent player so far in Spring Split. And now Bjergsen going to be jumped on again by Levi, who has shown himself to be one hell of a jungler this game. Getting Optimus, his first kill of the game. Gigabyte Marines can take this. It'll be a very nice damage boost for them. Biofrost, Sven, and Turtle looking to collapse here onto Slay, who wants to make it a one for one if he can, but it's just not going to go through. Meanwhile, Gigabyte Marines takes down that Infernal Drake. That's a trade that they will gladly accept. All right, Slay now not showing the appropriate respect to his lane opponent. The rest of his team was setting up around Dragon. There was no way they could provide that support, but now he's here playing mid. Optimus eating a lot of damage, and Hawks has got it on the last tick because their biggest fear is that Bjorsen gets strong enough that Optimus cannot hold him. And now we see a fight in the bottom lane. Levi comes over the wall. Turtle going to be forced to try to get himself away from this one, but Levi goes too deep. Spitzkaren's able to find one. Can he make it two? Yes, he can. A double kill for the Graves. Optimus from behind needs a little bit more damage onto Wild Turtle, who's going to be sidestepping those orbs for now, but he does go down. Biofrost trying to escape. Stark makes his way into the fight. Haunts or two, who grabs the kill. On to the enemy bot laner, a double kill for Optimus. Now Haunts are gonna be taken down. The Fat Man gives him the belly slop. The belly flop, it's a little bit of a sloppy fight, but Bjergsen, the last man standing for TSM. They pick themselves up a number of kills, but that, this might not very well be oh, over yet. Oh, it's not over yet. Accelerated shot by Bjergsen with the nice flash. Again, another invade from Gigabyte Marines, another blue buff that they will be securing away from TSM. Levi, Archie, and Stark now looking to make a play with Slay already here in the top side. Then Scarin gonna be bursted low, gonna be taken down. Haunts or two, a little bit more damage will do it, and that is two for free for the Gigabyte Marines as Biofrost rotates up, but can't do anything with it. All right, so top lane goes down in favor of gigabyte marines tsm respond with the bottom lane tower now the arrow is available arrow misses but the rest of the damage is there stepping away from that arrow puts him right in the waiting arms of the strangle thorns as now then scaren's going to be taken down in retaliation a one for one tsm finds the setup they were looking for i think this will be a difficult contest for tsm Levi taking this Drake down pretty rapidly equalizer going to be cast to just try to zone them away if at all possible might Secure comes in. The Marines have got themselves their second break of the game. No and Stark is going to be holding the line against multiple oh, no! TSM and some poor coordination almost messes that up. But now they're able to turn it into two, and the Marines are 14 to 8. I think they're looking to do exactly the same down at the bottom lane. Haunter being collapsed on by two. Got to try to work his way out of this one, if at all possible. But Levi's there with the damage. Stark's there with the CC, and the top laner from the Marines will go to five, zero, and two. So let's see where the Gigabyte Marines look to try and move now. TSM keeping three bodies around the mid lane. Levi and Optimus trying to clear out that control ward, but Optimus gets hit and he is gonna be exploded. Wild Turtle taking the kill credit for that one. A TSM might have found their chance to maybe make some more happen here. Bjergsen popping the ghost blades. Vince Garen wanting to get in there, find even more damage if he can. Levi going to be kiting backwards, utilizing the triple rockets, but Archie has been left for dead. 
Bjergsen goes forward, and with a tumble through the air, Svenskeren is going to be the one who takes the kill credit for it. Now TSM moving on potentially towards greater things. Look, they're actually just going to go straight for the Baron as TSM. They're in the bottom half of the map. This is incredibly brave from Gigabyte Marines. They are just starting Baron up. Redemption's going to be used to keep them healthy. Baron's down to about one-third HP. Haunts are going to fire the Equalizer. Biofrost taken low. They're trying to stay on top of they Baron if they can. And Gigabyte Marines! have taken Baron Nasher. Haunts are now working his way into the pit, able to find one, not gonna be finding two, three dead on TSM. They find a triple kill onto the enemy jungler and Gigabyte Marines now have control over everything. Turtle's able to rotate top, grab the kill onto Slay. But it's a three versus one for the next 20 seconds. But this is a decision making from the Gigabyte Marines. This is what they were known for on the day one of Group B. These guys just see an opportunity and they rush it. They saw TSM moving down to the Mountain Drake. They saw an opportunity and my word, there was so much risk. Against the Rumble in the Baron Pit with Bjergsen and Sven Skaren just coming up through the river. So many things could have gone wrong, but they didn't care. They make it work, and they get themselves an inhibitor. Just look at this play from Optimus. Great flash from him to avoid the damage from Bjergsen and Biofrost. Now they've got to defend against the further Baron push. And they're going to do it in spectacular style. Ooh, Two ooh. dead on the side of the Marines, and TSM is quickly looking to respond to this Baron push and stop it in its tracks. Dark takes a drink, zones and scaring away. Oh. Biofrost gonna be eating a lot of burst from Optimus, but now returns some of his own. Still gonna be kept alive, just ever so barely. More damage coming out. Levi looking to chase him down if he can. Collateral damage, not gonna be finding much of anything. But Levi finds Bio, and that makes this a 5v4 for the next 30 seconds. Well, the Gigabyte push machine is back in full swing, trying to take down the remaining tier two on the map. Mid lane inhib has respawned. Levi gonna be stunned up with the enchanted Chris oh! Lero, but look at that damage! Haunts are gonna be going golden, trying to stay zoned. You see what he can do. Stark gonna be in the front line, soaking damage from three members, still staying alive somehow. Redemption will keep them alive. Turtle's gonna be taken low, somehow still oh! going. Bjergsen Shock Blast will take three low, but won't find any. And the Gigabyte Marines walk away alive. Now TSM trying to get vision control to make sure that doesn't happen again. Bjergsen, if he gets caught, that is just disaster for the North American LCS representatives, and that's the truth they're dealing with. Cast beautifully knocks Biofrost and Turtle right back into their waiting arms. Levi's gonna be resetting, and Turtle's gonna be forgetting what it feels like to be alive for the next 45 seconds as Gigabyte Marines have their chance. They have the Ziggs, they have five members, Captain Flowers. I think the Gigabyte Marines are well on their way to trying to end out this game. Running it down mid right now, just trying to get that push going. The minion wave is coming up, the inhibitor's gonna be going down. Haunts are trying to escape from Levi, who will prevent him from backing and defending. And might as well just win the 1v1 in the meantime. This is Gigabyte Marines closing in on Nexus Turret. Finn Scarin will not make this defense. And against all odds and to the surprise of you, me, and almost everyone predicting this game, Gigabyte Marines will go up to a 1-0 lead.